Simon's Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. That's right. Kind of nice evening here in Portland. It's uh, July 3rd. One way yeah. from one day away from the 4th. Yeah, which is actually an excellent way to introduce the beer that we're doing tonight because July 4th, for some of you, is the longest night of the year because your neighbors don't stop shooting off fireworks. <laughs> and you know what we got here? We have the longest night of the year, and it is a 2019 whiskey barrel-aged barley wine by McMinimins. Uh, it's the Edgefield one. Here, we'll get that in there. Uh, we've had this before. We have. We've uh, had it with I don't friends, know if we've David had this year, but no. we've had years before, yeah, and it was... It's wonderful beer. Now I have to tell you though, so this is the silver top, which which means that it's the whiskey barrel aged. Mm -hmm. And so by the way, it's it's barrel aged in the Hogshead whiskey barrels. Uh, that whiskey is a McMinimins, which is the brewer, McMinimins, out of their own distillery out on the Edgefield, which is great. And they have two other versions. They have another version that's uh, barrel aged in the Three Rocks Rum. Haven't tried that one. And then a, another one that, I don't know if it's their own port, port barrel, might be because they do wine too, that's barrel aged in port barrels. And I got to try that one. I thought that would be too much. And oh, it was magnifique. It was, oh, I should have gotten a bottle of that too, but they were out at the moment. Uh, uh, should have come back looking. So we're going to get this one cracked open and enjoy it, but it's a big, uh, what's the ABV on that, Christian? 13.2? Two? Yeah. <laughs> so, and I know what you guys are going to say. McMinimins, like you got bad customer service, they're so mediocre. <laughs> but the thing is, is what's better than McMinimins sometimes? <laughs> yeah, and they really do and, not have brew. And they brew good beer. I, 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 they just opened, reopened uh, our Cedar Hills one, and they have a tap from every single different McMinimins brewery there. It's like 25, and I was in McMinimins heaven. Yeah, McMinimins. <laughs> so for those that don't know, it's a local chain started in Oregon and spread throughout Washington, and they take primarily historic locations and they convert them to brew pubs and also sometimes have hotels and golf movie theaters, courses. golf courses, concert halls, mm. um, really cool stuff. They even have spas at them and things like yeah. that. But uh, uh, yeah, so long, long time. I I've been going since he was in elementary school. So. And I still go to today. <laughs> so I mean, uh, yeah, I love them and I hate them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, let's get her cracked open. Okay, folks. This is really, it's a pretty beer. I gotta, I gotta get up there. Look at this. That's, that's nice looking. It's actually pretty clear. I can smell like a, that from here. Yeah, I can't even I can get too. it near my nose. Not even close. I can smell it. And it's a deep ruby oh, red. Man. man, it's just beautiful. Hold on, I, I gotta just stop and, oh my. Woo, yumminess. That is, oh my gosh. <sighs> So first of all, I'll name some oh. of the, the malt bill before I get into the really deliciousness. I mean, you've got this beautiful caramel and toffee, a lot of toffee quality on this. A lot what, of toffee quality. What type of barley wine is this? Oh my. It has the essence of like a quadruple, like yeah, deep, it's a, dark, it's a good juicy, English. fruity notes. Yeah, it's an English that makes sense. And it's, you can tell it's barrel aged. You got the whiskey in there. You've got like the dark fruits, but oh, you got yeah. like the toffee and like the the caramel. Like Yeah, all of toffee there. and a caramel both. But when I think of caramel, I don't think of caramel mm. like I usually think of almost with, man, I'm talking about like a chewy, you know, the, not the dark, but a chewy light caramel. I 100% chewy agree. light caramel, and just imagine it's melting, and dark fruits. Now, what all dark fruits are you pulling? You got the oh, plum, you got yeah, the I was gonna say that. prunes. But the thing is, 
the dark fruits you're pulling is a very light dark fruit. You almost have like a date scent to it. Yeah, like it's not. Absolutely. It's not. It's it's like uh like maybe some like some uh, dried apricots like the like the not like a deep dark fruit it's, scent. It's, it's lighter very fruit light almost. and it's it's almost as if it like date had a, sugar. Yeah, exactly. Kind of a thing like chewy dates and date sugar type this of is nose. Pleasurable on the nose, I would say. It almost makes me want to try getting a fresh date and caramel and popping it in my mouth because that's how this smells to me. Leather and tobacco on there, just very lightly. It's on the very back of the nose, yeah. I'd say. I think I think this has yeah, to be just. I think it's you just have to drink this one. And I'm really happy to report, it tastes basically like it smells. Yeah, actually, I'm I'm impressed. It actually has more of the the leather taste and the and the earthiness that Dad was kind of pulling out there at the end, but it's definitely still light on the fruits, but it's dark and creamy and it's got a good body. You're really getting at this point, the oak coming through. Mm -hmm. So the oak, I mean, not like a harsh oak. It's like a, no, feels it's, like a, like an older oak almost in a way. It's got some earthy and dark tone to the oak. It has some mahogany hints to it. Nice and smooth. <laughs> and there's something about the quality in this that, you know, it, it, okay, it is full body. Let's not kid you, but it's not like a heavy feeling mm -hmm. per se. It's ever so lightly syrupy. And on the very light end of that, very light end. But there's something about it. Oh, God. Yeah, he nailed it right there. <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah there's something about this i like brandies i like cognac and and i get these pictures of of you know like winston churchill and some of these guys with their cigars and their brandy mm -hmm. i could see people that were into cigars i'm not so right. much like sitting with this and you it's know? definitely an english barley wine it mm -hmm. actually has hints of like a scotch ale note to it don't you think like it has oh, a yeah, little yeah. warmer essence to it. It's oh, it's pleasant. Yeah, you're right. You uh, you threw me when you said that at first, but you're absolutely right. It's got that kind of like a wee heavy type quality mm -hmm. going on in there someplace but it's, too. But it's it's not it's not wee heavy. It's definitely a barley wine, but you get like a hint right there. Because this barley wine has so much of the toffee character going mm -hmm. on. You know, in that, in that lighter caramel, yeah, it has a different quality to it all together. It's just absolutely delicious. Yeah, it, absolutely delicious. I, this might yeah. be one of my favorite, it probably is my favorite English barley wine ever. This may well be. This is, I think we're going to take a moment and be back. That's what I think. <laughs> So we're just like super enjoying this. It hasn't changed a lot, except to say like you were saying it was a little more uh, earthy, a little bit more leathery, like, but it, it, in not a bad way, in a good way. It's yeah. still smooth. It's still fantastic. It's almost like it's intensified. It's, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, if you got some kind of a hard lick or something, and you kind of went gurgled or brought it up your nose. This, just like, this is a bottle to be shared with a friend. Oh, like yeah. I, it's complex. There's a lot of layer. There's a lot going on, a lot of quality to it. It's just a delicious beer. And that makes it really hard because now we're rating this barley wine, an English barley wine at that. But as my sister, one of my sisters was smelling up visiting, she goes, almost has a cognac quality. Which is like bingo. That's remember I was talking about cigars with cognac. So scoring then we're gonna go to style and I'm gonna just get really crazy here for barley wine English barley English wine. English barley wine I'm gonna get real wacky and go 98 because this is more than just having the flavors and stuff it's such a high octane rich and layered and oof dense with stuff now I'm not, I'm not gonna get crazy. 
It's my this wheelhouse. Is, this is this is in the fantastic range. Like this is the upper echelon of stuff. I'm gonna go with 97. Cause there's probably three more points out there, and definitely if I went to England, I might find something sneaky there. No, Who knows? <laughs> but this is this is top charts like yeah. well done McMinimans. Yeah, but this this would be well done for anyone. So, yeah, yeah, forget the McMinimum title. Overall, um, in some ways, it's almost too intense, to be really honest. It, overall, I, I, you know, there's a lot of other things out there that are really crazy, but I'm not going to go far. I think it's a 97 for me because this is in my wheelhouse. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm right with him there. I'm gonna go 96. I'm just dropping a point. Like, this is something that we should have just bought a 12 pack of if we found it, <laughs> and then just drank a one case. every six months and just enjoyed it more and more and more because I, this will yeah. age well. Oh, but it well is well. a must drink multiple times kind of beer, yeah. and you gotta share it with a friend because yeah, it's so enjoyable. Yeah. And here it is again. It is the longest night of the year, 2019 whiskey barrel aged barley wine from McMinimins out of Portland, Oregon. Or technically, it's brewed at the Edgefield location, which is in Troutdale, Oregon. In fact, I was just out there with my wife the last nights before they closed it down for mm -hmm. COVID 19. We were there. This is one heck of a good beer. And if you can't get this, you know, you're out in Oregon, Washington. Find somebody, somebody else, no, I can't find somebody though, to see if you can get them to buy a bottle and trade for something. You're not getting any from us. Yeah, not getting from us, no. <laughs> it's, we only had one and it's gone. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, after that, I, I, I would really like to have tried the rum barrel aged one this year. Uh, they didn't have any in when I was over there, but they happened to have, like I said, the port barrel aged on tap. So I had to pour that and was just oh in heaven for the longest time. This is Kevin. This is Christian. Saying life's too short to drink cheap beer. And we'll see you on the next beer review.